question. I think I have changed my topic a little bit over here. There's a little secret to public speaking, and that says, never have brilliant speakers speak before you. And I think it has already happened to me. So there is a lot of pressure on me, and I'm just trying to cop up with it. And I think I will have your support over there. What I have over here is 18 minutes of your attention. And trust me, it is really important for me that you give 18 minutes of your life to me. Because no money can buy that time. You, you will never be able to ex exchange it with something else. And you will never be able to relive with it. Now being on the stage and holding the mic and giving you what I have in the 18 minutes, either I can abuse this attention, either I can use it, or I can really give so much value to you that you love me forever and you really call me up over different stages and you really want me into your life. And I think I'll choose that option. Now, the world I come from, 18 minutes is a really big time. I come from a digital background where what people do is on their phones, they just keep on scrolling, scrolling, and scrolling. And if my content is really not valuable enough or engaging enough, people just scroll up, and it's hardly like five seconds is the time that I get to display my message to the people. Coming back to the point where Mr. Tund Mr. Tundan and Guru Gol uh, Gopal Das has already told us, everything is moving to the digital world, to the social world, and people are engaging on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and different kinds of environment. Now, my job as a marketing man is to help my clients achieve their business objectives through marketing. And let me tell you how I do it. I just take care of where your attention is and try to figure out the way to connect with you over those platforms in a way that you really look into it and you really buy the products and services that my clients have. Now, when I work with these different clients, there are different kinds of strategies that they are looking forward to. Some people say I need more clients, I need more customers. Some people say I need more brand awareness. And there are different objectives and different strategies that you build up for these particular purposes. But there is a core to every marketing activity that you perform. Now, when I started my career as a marketing professional, I'm telling you very bluntly, I failed miserably for the next couple of years because I was not able to figure out what's going wrong. And I was really kind of very much into the technical stuff. So I was having discussion whether you should run Facebook ads versus YouTube ads, whether you should use hashtags or not use hashtags. You should have to create a personal profile or a professional profile. I was just into these technical conversations. But later on, I found a mentor who I really sat down with for, for the next couple of years. And he gave me the explanation that the world is made up of people. Why don't you understand how people work and then try to either manipulate them. Manipulate is not a good work. but Try to figure out how to add value to these people. Now, any marketing activity has three core parameters that I want to talk about. One, people. Do you even remember when was the last time we thought, hey, we are human beings? I think it is so underrated that we forget about that everything that we see around, whether it's TED, whether it's any other platform, it's all about people. And we forget the core, core basics of what people are all about. The second thing, attention. If you are viewing this presentation right, right now, you're giving me your attention, and this is the core principle right now, because everything can be earned up, but more time and more attention cannot be earned up in any ways. You have limited time, you have limited attention, and you have to figure out where to give it. But in the environment of 2016 and coming up 2017, you are being thrown up hundreds and hundreds of different pieces of content. Here itself, there are nine speakers giving you information. And in between all of these talks, you will be scrolling your Facebook, your WhatsApp, your Twitter, your LinkedIn. Like thousands of pieces of content has been given to you already. But you have to figure out where you keep your attention. And being a marketer, my job is to take your attention and to look at my client's products and services or my products and services. And the last thing, obviously, trust. When I get your attention, the next, next step in a marketing activity is to gain your trust to say that, yes, I'm really leg legitimate. I really have what you are looking for. And please buy this, this products and services that you have. Now we'll be talking about all of these things very specifically. I think a lot of people do a really great job at marketing in all the places. Here is an example from Rory from Ogilvy. He was giving a TED talk about how people think as a perceived value. 
Now, I might not be the best speaker in this presentation, but if I give you the impression that I am the best speaker, you would obviously, obviously understand, yes, this is the best speaker. And let me tell you, all the greatest in institutes in the world, whether it's IIT, MITs, Oxford, and all that, why their people get, why their students get more successful? Because they give them a perceived value in the beginning that what you are getting is very special and no one else is getting up. That gives them immense self-confidence and they just go after it and try to hit up big things. Here's an example for Shreddies. Now let me give you a quick brief for what Shreddies is. Shreddies is a cereal brand from Canada and a couple of other countries. What they were, it is a square cereal that you see all, uh, all across Canada and other places. What they were looking forward to have a conversation was how to rebrand it, repackage it, and bring it in some way that people really like it again as a fresh piece. Now, Ogilvy is really great at marketing. So what they came up with the solution is this. Freddy's are supposed to be square. Have any of these diamond shapes gone out? Uh. New Diamond Shreddy cereal. Same 100% whole grain wheat in a delicious diamond shape. Uh, so Shreddy's is actually introducing a, a new product, which is something uh, very exciting for them. So they're introducing new Diamond Shreddy's. Interesting. Which is interesting. Um, so I just want you to look at that, and, and that's the new box there. So I just want to get your first impressions when you see that. You see the diamond uh, shreddy box there. What is that? Weren't they square? I'm a little bit confused. They look like squares they, to me. They, it's, it's all, yeah, it's all in the appearance, but it's kind of like thinking about uh, uh, a six or a nine, like a six. If you flip it over, it looks like a nine, but it's, uh, yeah. a six is very different and from a nine. M and a W. And M and a W, exactly. It's a Actually, when you don't see it, like when I sat there, I it, you just look like you turn around, it's N, but, but when you see it like that, it's, it's more interesting looking. Just try both of them. Take a uh, square one there first. Diamond shape. Okay. First one. The first one? It had more flavor. Okay. That's interesting because the, the first one was the diamond. The diamond one felt more crunchy. It's sort of out of a popping sort of 3D effect. I don't know, there's more punch into it. If I asked you to describe them in four words only. Goodness in a box. If you had to reduce that to just three words. Diamond shreddies, good. It, it's better shreddies. What one word would you use to sum up the diamond shreddy experience? Breakfast. If I asked you to describe the diamond shreddies without using words. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. <laughs> that was good. That was no <laughs> words. Go. That was okay. wonderful. That really carried it across. That was great. Now, when they launched it, it was a huge success. But what people were offended was that we loved the square ones, but now there are the diamond ones. So there are two different boxes. I don't want to have two different boxes. What they did? A combo back. They just were, you can buy a square one as well as a diamond one at one moment of time. Now, I believe marketers are really sneaky when it comes to playing with the people's mind. And I really love psychology. Trust me, I read up for marketing less than like 10% of the time, like the technical integration, and I read like 90% of the time about the psychology of the people and how to turn it around. Now, we just messed up on the stage. There were two options. Either we can just play rude into it or just give them an applause. We just changed the psychology of the entire audience and the entire room, and I have people in my favor right now. So this is how marketers think. They try to change the perception that you're putting forward to. Now, whenever you are looking forward to do any sort of marketing for your products or services, try to see if there is any loophole or an, uh, or an option to increase the perceived value of the product in the eyes of the people without doing any sort of slightest change in the world. They launched a complete website. And if you see on the left hand side, there was a complete kind of 29,000 votes came and out of 66% of them said diamond is a better one than the square ones. So they launched a new micro website. Here's a great example of fitness first, a brand. What they did was they set up a complete waiting area 
where the person sits and the weight of that person really appears over there and at the bottom of it it's written fitness first now what 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 we see here is you are adding value to the people you are all you are not telling them you are fat because no one wants to hear you are fat you join my gym but yeah if you really show them their what their real weight is they would automatically think themselves that hey i have to get back to thing attention now uh, what we are running over is the kind of attention that we can get from the people and the sources through which we can get those attention everyone can run facebook ads everyone can run any other ads youtube ads but what is your competitive edge over here how do you really create a strategy that says i am going to get the attention whether it happens or not now as gary vaynerchuk really promotes this thing he says if if your company is not a media company in 2016 and 17 you are going to be dead and i believe producing content creating content and getting people to engage with it and then providing value and then moving it to the trust level is really what marketing is all about now kan khajur rotation was an initiative by hindustan unilever i'll show you a quick video they haven't used any sort of advertisements that you see in a normal world but they really tap the entire ruler market by just doing one small tweak into the product that they launch in advertising media channels are everything but what happens when 130 million people in india go without electricity on an average of 8 hours a day every day they live in a permanent disconnection from the world and its brands except for one thing their mobile phones and in bihar and jharkhand 65% of the population has one so We transform this rudimentary piece of technology into the only constant and reliable medium of entertainment in town, the Kanka Jura station. A radio station in a mobile phone that works very simply. You make a missed call to a number and a few seconds later you receive a call back with 15 minutes of free entertainment. And Kanka Jura station gives you free entertainment, right? So I feel very good. It was a little bit more for a while, but it was good for a while. It was good for a while. कान खोज रहे स्टेशन ये अपने आप में ही बॉस है म्यूजिक न्यूज सीरीज जोक एंड ऑफ कोर्स एडवर्टाइजिंग फ्रॉम ऑल आवर ब्रांड्स तो एक्सेल बार अब लक साबुन में छुपी जिंक माउथ वॉश के साथ हाथ लिस्टनिंग ट्रीट पर चल लेकिन नाम अलग बिकॉज़ विद 130 मिलियन इनहेबिटेंट्स दिस वाज एन इंपोर्टेंट मार्केट फॉर यूनिलीवर्स ग्रोथ इन इंडिया ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट वीक्स We received 150,000 calls each day. In just 6 months, the Kan Kajura station is already the largest media channel in Bihar and Jharkhand. With 24 million calls and 8 million unique users. The Kan Kajura station, a new channel to bring advertising through entertainment to people. कान खजूर स्टेशन अठारह सौ तीस हजार एक दो तीन यू डोट हैव टू यूज द कन्वेंशनल वेज ऑफ मार्केटिंग एंड जस्ट गेटिंग पीपल अटेंशन वेन एवर आई गो टू कॉन्फ्रेंसिस और टॉक टू डिफरेंट कॉर्पोरेट प्रोफेशनल एंड ऑल दैट all of them are talking about technicalities what what can i do how can i do which platform to use uh, how can i generate more leads how can I generate more sales but they really forgetting that you need to grab someone's throat and tell them to look at your services pay attention gain trust and then actually sell them later on another thing i want to talk about is trust so you obviously know where people are you have their attention now but how do you really gain trust of them the simple solution is to provide value up front and then later on maybe later on ask them for a sale don't pitch them just ask them guilt them to buy your product and services because you have given so much value and they want more out of it here's an example from life boy what life boy did they really went to mahakumbh mela and really thought how can we really add value to the not working but you are trying everything on me man <laughs> so on trust uh, life boy basically went to mahakumbh mela and tried to see how they can contribute to mahakumbh mela in a way that they can market their product as well as they don't seem like a pitchy because it is a complete holy thing going on 
Here's a quick video from Live Boy. Diarrhea still kills 1.1 million children annually in developing countries. Life Boy believes this can be averted. The Mahakumbh Mela India 2013, the largest religious festival on the planet. Over a hundred million people come here to pray together, live together, and eat together. Life Boy Soap saw this as the perfect opportunity to convey an important message. Always wash your hands with soap before you eat. Our medium, the roti or Indian bread, served with almost every Indian meal. And the only way to eat it is with your hands. We created a heat stamp capable of leaving a simple message on a roti. Did you wash your hands with Life Boy? And over 30 days, a team of 100 people stood in 100 kitchens, stamping over 2.5 million fresh rotis, helping us to reach out to over 5 million visitors at the Mahakumbh Mela. So, will people remember to wash their hands before their next meal? Let's pray they do. Can you think of marketing your products and services through roti? Someone just thought of. This is what I am talking about. Marketing is all about people. We have forgotten that we are actually people all across. We are looking at metrics that really don't care. I don't care about if this talk is being seen by 100 people or 100,000 people. If just one person sees this talk and that is Bill Gates, don't you think my life is going to change? I always sit down in meetings and where a person says, hey, we have just reached 15,000 people and we are like converting at 1% and there's like 150 sales coming in, how can we improve that? My context is, why do we want to reach 15,000 people? Let's put some more efforts and try to reach one person that really makes the entire difference into your business. I believe quality is everything than quantity. And this is an open rant to the complete marketing world that they're really working on in the negative side. We have to radically shift how we really market our products and services so that Marketers are seen as a person that really add values to the ecosystem, not just take value from the ecosystem. Amul. Amul's page is the best Facebook page all around. And it has been given multiple awards. Why? Because they use the simple strategy that is called news jacking. And the behind the news jacking, it is all about people. They create different creatives all day long about the latest news that is happening inside the world. They capped really great on Modi's and Obama's meeting. And the other one, Amul in all cabinets, because the BJP was in all cabinets when this creative came out. Why can't we really be authentic and talk about what people want to talk about, rather than just pitching them their products and services? I was in a, in a meeting that was with a very high brand in the car manufacturer, I would say top three in the one. I was having a meeting with their marketing head of India, and we were discussing about how to really take it to the next level. And the discussion really went into to a whole different track uh, because he was talking about like advertisement, buying more channels, getting more influencers to talk about it. I gave them a simple idea that was rejected right away. So I have a lot of failures. The idea was, why can't you create a website or a micro website, whatever you want to say, that educates people on how a car is maintained or how you can really increase the mileage of a car or what are really great parameters to improve it. It was completely rejected. Why? Because they don't want to talk about their competitors. Why are you scared to talk about your competitors? I really love it. What if you create a website 
that says here's why Skoda cars don't give you mileages and here's how to get that and you create it from Maruti's side don't you think it's really gonna get the attention of that user maybe in the long run maybe in the long run when that person is looking forward to change its car they're gonna come back to you for references where you can actually generate leads so I believe marketers has to completely change the way they are working the old marketing process create the product and service buy ads to reach people sell and compete it has been over now people's attention has spread different ways do you even watch TV commercials now how many of you watch the complete TV season one season of any of your favorite episode maybe roadies or something in one night by sitting on YouTube then why are you buying billions of dollars of worth TV commercials when no one's attention is over there reason people are too scared to move up people are too scared to say, hey I can't figure out this digital stuff so I don't want to get into it great one day you have to because the old one is gonna get out do you think when the radio came out people ever think it will just be obsolete one day no one it was like the invention of the world that this is the radio now we can communicate with each other then the TV came on and the radio became obsolete now digital is happening and this is gonna get obsolete so better move rather than get stuck over there new marketing process build an audience by adding value give 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 here's the live examples of all of us sitting here we just give content for freely basis where people engage they get our fans and one day they, they themselves ask us do you have anything to sell so that I can actually buy because I really love what you are sharing I want to get more into it I think this is a success now the perfect example of who does this I think is Patanjali the complete yoga brand that was built over the years and later on it was decided with the CEO let's launch an FMCG brand what if they have not contributed the yoga content for the over the years and they just try to market their new toothpaste with buying different banner ads do you really think you are gonna shift from Colgate or Pepsodent to Patanjali if there was no content or back of the mind that trust that was looking forward I don't think so three core things people attention trust if you really understand these three things in the same order I am talking about you don't need any marketer in the world you can market everything yourself thank you very much